Hi there. Terry Bailey, Senior Minister, Indian Run Christian Church, East Canton, Ohio, finishing today the look that I've been taking at 2 Peter chapter 3, verses 10 to 15. Let's read through that one more time. But the day of the Lord will come like a thief in which the heavens will pass away with a roar and the elements will be destroyed with intense heat and the earth and its works will be burned up. Since all these things are to be destroyed in this way, what sort of people ought you to be in holy conduct and godliness, looking for and hastening the coming of the day of God, because of which the heavens will be destroyed by burning and the elements will melt with intense heat? But according to his promise, we are looking for new heavens and a new earth in which righteousness dwells. Therefore, beloved, since you look for these things, be diligent to be found by him in peace, spotless, and blameless, and regard the patience of our Lord as salvation, just as also our beloved brother Paul, according to the wisdom given him, wrote to you. I have spoken about how we should be an expectant and optimistic people looking for the coming of our Lord, and how we ought to be found living in his peace when he comes, and how we ought to be striving for that spotless, blameless position in the face of the fallen world. And finally, I will say this, we should be a people who regard the patience of our Lord as salvation. Many days... I have prayed that prayer. Oh, come, Lord Jesus, come quickly, Lord Jesus. Well, he has not come yet. And sometimes that is a disappointment. The more so, as we see the way that the world is in his current delay. And yet, we should be a people who see this as his patience, and as salvation, and an opportunity for salvation. And let me tell you something that I think I begin to see happen in the world right now. The coronavirus emergency is causing people to think about God, to consider faith anew, or possibly to consider it for the first time. It is an opportunity for salvation. Oh, I'm not glad that people are dying, and I'm not glad that businesses are being wrecked. I'm not glad for any of these things. But I am glad that in the midst of it, some will turn their sight to God and find salvation through Jesus Christ. And in these continuing days of the present order, until he comes again, His patience is just exactly such an opportunity for salvation. Let us pray that many find it, and let us do our part to guide them to it. For this is the sort of people we should be since Jesus is coming again. If you would pray with me. Father God, I pray that we would see the opportunity for salvation in this crisis and in the delay that we see before you come again. And let us be that people that you have envisioned through your servant Peter. For we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen.